We were all nervous before the Super Bowl. I mean, who wouldn't have been, right? <laughs> but I looked at the players around me, and I remembered everything we'd done to make this a reality. Cowboys taking on the Houston Texans. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Houston Texans, taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Territory. They look to throw. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after, and it's second down. It's Second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Got his target, Samuel. And bulldozing his way through. Touchdown, Houston, with a first touchdown of the Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Texans have taken the early lead. So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And what we see here is something that we saw all year long from them. The ability to strike from anywhere on the field. How about the way they get it started in this Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A 
big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete and now third down. Brings up a so now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Dance into his left. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 42. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42 yard line. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Deep ball. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. That one good for 26 and a first down. Seven. Our score after one. Score tied seven to seven. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. The first down carry here for Johnson, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The gun now on third down. Now he's got it. Johnson on its poke free. Football's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Oh boy. I mean, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. but they'll say it's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He gets it to Cooks. 
And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Penny, a first down carry. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They look to throw now on first down. And it's caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have taken the lead. Throwing here on first down. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Open man is Cooks, he's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Texans will extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the throwing here to start the drive and he was hit as he threw it there and it forces it incomplete intended for Brandon Cook. so the incompletion and now it's second and ten again from the 25 yard line taking a shot for Samuel he's got a man complete and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. That incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with, but it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. He gets this one to Johnson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Incomplete. It's now second and 10. Start this drive in the air. And Diggs has it. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Texans push further out in front. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Taken down at the 32-yard line. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. to throw here. Open man is Samuel, complete. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. A gain of two. Brings up second and 13 at the 15-yard line. Behind the chain, second and 13. Back to throw. He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. 
Uh, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Taking a shot for Samuel. This is caught inside the 15. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Cowboys, 21. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Open man is Cooks, he's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Texans will add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide. Here's a give to Benny. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Rashad Penny. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Texans on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Throw there, gonna be incomplete. One pass intended for Duke Johnson. Incomplete. It's fourth down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They'll try and run some clock here with Penny. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. After the penalty, it's Penny. Shot Penny, the ball carrier. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It's complete to Diggs. Holding offense. Got it. 
So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the... Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. It helped force the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the draw. Here's Johnson. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the eleven. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. He'll drop to throw. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs there to make the grab. And the Texans will extend their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside in two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily. Third and 13. And the Lone Star State has a new champion. It's the Houston Texans, kings of the Super Bowl. 35. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. champs the Lombardi trophy is theirs and so are bragging rights for an entire season and what a season it has been feels like we have been there every step of the way our entire crew doing a wonderful job thanks to my broadcast partner Charles Davis for all those guys I'm Brandon Gunn signing off we'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports With that, the dream team stepped off the field and into football legend. What means more to your legacy? It was a once in a lifetime opportunity to be a part of that group. I'm grateful we were able to cap it off with a Super Bowl title.